Hello everyone, thanks so much for watching my nature diaries. I want to share with you today some thoughts and tips that I have on drawing, painting, and mixed media in my nature journal or nature diary. And I'm working in my book of trees, which is just a book of all the local trees that I find around, whether in the landscape or in the woods. I'm starting off my layout by hand lettering the title of this ornamental tree. And this is just my own made up typeface. I just kind of, I don't know, merge styles. I've done this over the years, this block lettering style with some serifs on it, but feel free to find one that you like and use that because it does add, I think, a lot of interest and creativity to your nature journal or art journal. I'm switching over now to my pilot penmanship and using Rohr Klinger Sketch Ink, which is permanent. And it's also in this gray, which I will list uh, these items in the description below if you are interested. You saw me earlier laying out with my blocks, just kind of the idea of a composition. And when I'm doing that, it does help me because I just decide, do I want a big flower? Do I want a big impact? Or do I want something small? But because these flowers are so delicate and there's so many details with them, I decided to go ahead and I pre-sketched it in pencil uh, to make this picture pretty large and make it kind of fill the page. Because of that, I also wanted the typeface or the lettering to be large and bold too, just to kind of echo the, the flower and just the idea that these flowers on this tree overall were just huge. Like they really pulled me in from walking on a trail that I was on. I actually walked over to the tree because I saw these large, large flowering blooms. So sometimes even the way we put something into our nature journal or art journals, it can help describe what it is that we're seeing. Lately, I feel like I've been in this phase of wanting to add textured backgrounds to my last couple of nature diaries. And I think part of it is because I like the idea of a white border to set off the whole composition. And also the creativity that it allows is something that I really enjoy as well. No matter what colors I use in my composition or painting, I like to use yellow ochre in the background in some form or other. And here I've mixed it with the alizarin crimson a little bit to just create a soft coral type color, but I will use it again in different ways just to keep the consistency in the whole nature journal. There is something about making a background that's loose and colorful that kind of sets me up for painting the actual plant or flower that I'm going to be putting in my nature journal. The individual flowers of this bloom are very high contrast with each other. So I wanted to make sure I added all the paint in layers, starting with the lightest color first and then just tweaking it going back and forth. And this is alizarin crimson and I'm using a little mix of yellow ochre with some lemon yellow just to add some of the contrasty blossom colors in each of the flower petals. I'm painting the leaves that I drew in but I'm also adding some more in the background because I want to show that the bloom is in a tree canopy and that there are leaves all around and so Sometimes I just add things as I go, and I think that perfectly works as well. I am working from a reference photo, but I'm using it loosely as I flip the image over kind of on its side, but I wanted to kind of give context for where the blooms are at, which of course are in a tree. I find that I like to go back in with my pen and ink and just add and tweak a few more details. You don't have to do this. You could leave yours as is, but I, again, love, I've said this many times, the idea of ink and watercolor. And I love the idea of drawing with the color. I, I don't know exactly why, but it's completely up to you and your style, how you would like to do this. But I do find that uh, sometimes the lines get lost after the watercolor. So I'm just going back in and just kind of reestablishing shadows again with the ink. 
as I finish painting the text on the top, one of the things, again, that might be obvious, but I like to make sure I'm using the colors in my composition and painting and using it in whatever else I can. And in this case, it is the block lettering. So I'm gonna put it in first with this alizarin crimson. There might be a little cad red with that. And then for interest, I'm adding the yellow ochre. I like the idea of my letters having different shades in them. And that's completely, again, up to you what you would like to do. But I like this look and I feel like it does help tie in the whole painting. I'm also going to add in a dark purple or royal purple from another palette and this color will also help tie in some other colors I used earlier and I like the idea of it um, creating like a bit of a shadow under the letters. Adding mixed media elements to your nature journal or art journal is just a way to really amp it up. I love this idea of creating by adding elements. And in this case, I'm going to be adding three dried flower blooms. The flowers themselves, the, the big bloom was so large, I, I couldn't press it and put it in my uh, flower press or I just didn't want to take up the space. So I just did three of the flowers and I'm grabbing some mixed media paper and you could use you know a heavier duty one if you wanted to but i'm just using some mixed media paper as the background for this as a little specimen card that i'm going to create for this uh, composition i decided to also add colors from the background to match the card so it would just kind of blend in and look like it's uh, seamlessly part of the page and then taking a sheet protector I used previously, I'm going to take advantage of the folded edge and I'm going to use that to actually create a pocket to put these specimen cards in. So you can see I have a flap that's already there and that's going to help with the durability of this particular pocket. The rest of this process is really just making sure everything fits and works together that the card will go in smoothly and it's just really a matter of trial and error with this. And I'm also gonna use this decorative washi tape to use as a border. It's a great idea to use this permanent adhesive tape, which in my case didn't work out super well because the brand wasn't very good. But if you get a great brand of this, it works wonders and it's much easier and less messy. I did have to go back though and use Elmer's glue just to make sure this stayed in. As I finish up this particular project, I wanted to add a decorative border. And in this case, I'm using washi tape, which I did secure even more with Elmer's glue because washi tape is one of those things that doesn't always uh, last super long, the adhesive. So it's up to you. You don't even have to add it, but I liked finishing it up this way. All I did too was Mod Podge those three dried flowers to the cardstock over there and then I'm adding in my lines for text and I like to add in penciled lines because of the fact it helps me again place things so I have an idea how to compose the uh, full spread and layout of my nature journal. I also use text to help balance out the layout of a composition in other words to to create symmetry or some kind of balanced look and as you can see, I'm putting my text to the bottom left and I feel like this makes it a pleasant and pleasing composition. To me, my nature journal comes together when I add the writing. I enjoy this as much sometimes as the art itself. It just really fills out the page and completes it. I decided one specimen card wasn't enough, so I'm adding another one from a quick sketch, rounding out the corners as well to make the cards more durable in themselves. Adding these mixed media specimen cards to your nature journal or art journal can make it so much more interesting and fun, especially for your viewer to look at and interact with your journal. And you can change up the look of it as well. This is only half of my spread that I'm going to be making for this particular tree. And I'll nature journal the rest of it in the fall, which of course I'll make a video on later. Thanks again so much for watching. And as always, remember that you are amazing and creative. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.